Hello, everybody. Hello, Julie. Hello, Carolyn. Oh, it's, you know, it's Tuesday again. And Julie and I are here, not in North Walpole. No. We're in the big one down in Walpole. Yes. Village. So yeah, so this is a this is a treat for, for it us. is because this is our favorite spot in the library, yes, isn't it? it? Is. Yes, it is. Because these are the nice, comfortable chairs. Yes, and, and in the Pam Howard Bowers reading room. nook. Yes. yes, and it's so cozy here. Isn't it, it is so cozy. So, um, so Julie, so should, Carolyn, we should get a stool or something to sit on. I'm fine. You're fine. You know, I sacrifice for your art. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh no. Oh, she's just kidding. <laughs> but you know, she 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 just squats down. She's so good. But anyway, uh, so here we are again. It's yes. Tuesday. We're in the lovely Walpole Town Hall. Yes. Of Town Library. <laughs> we were in the Town, town hall, hall for a while yes, there. Yes, we were. In the lovely uh, Pam Howard uh, reading nook. Mm. And so I have some books for you Ooh. to consider. We have so many, so many new, books, new books, don't we? I oh know. my gosh. It <gasps> seems like the publishers have like gone through a, like a flurry. Right, yes. Like yeah. open the floodgates. Here you go, everybody. I <laughs> so I know, but this but this is good for us. Book yes, lovers, it is. So, it yeah. is. So I have this one by <gasps> Alexander McCall Smith. I would like to be on that little comfy couch right now. I would too. And <laughs> I love this title. A song of comfortable cheers. Oh, now I mean, this just gives you an idea of sitting back, reading a good book. Yes, right? all cozy. I'm all all cozy and stuff. And um, this is the the new number one ladies detective agency. Ah. So yeah, so it's filled with all those really great characters that you you come to know and love. Do you have to read them in order? No. 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 Good. No, in this latest installment in the beloved number one ladies detective agency series, Grace uh, Makuti, Makutsi encounters a pair of quandaries that will require all of her and Mumma remote Swedes, remote Swedes insight and intuition to resolve Ooh. you know how when you're reading a book to yourself you don't have to think about how to say the I, the right, names <laughs> right, right but this is uh but the, oh this this looks so and so he's good. such a popular author oh, and oh, prolific and prolific yes yes good old alexander <laughs> i know i you know he has other books that he has written but this series is my favorite i think yep. yeah i so, agree i know so I'm I'm leaving this here for you all <laughs> because I have a lot to read. But believe me, I'm reading fast. Oh, good. And so, it, come and get it while it's here. <laughs> or they say, come and get it while it's hot. While it's hot. So, oh, this I love this chair. Doesn't it look? Comfy? I know, so comfy. Oh, oh boy, look at this. <laughs> this is intriguing. This is on my list. <laughs> Vacuuming in the nude. <laughs> And this, uh, this book is the story of a 60-year writing journey. The joy, the detours, the heartbreak and rejection, and the amazing scenery along the way. <laughs> so, but this book is not erotic. Right. So, as the title may lead you to believe. Right. But she does have that lovely barrel on. Uh, she does. Yes. And it does say censored. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm curious because I noticed it says it's by Peggy Rao. With a foreword oh, by, by Mike, by Mike, Mike Rowe, Rowe, who does that show, she, Dirty Jobs. I wonder if she's somehow related to him. I wonder. Yeah. Yeah. And he does those commercials, too. For, yes. yes. Uh, she's, well, Peggy has been writing all her adult life. Ah. Uh, in fact, she doesn't know how not to write. Ooh. How nice. Yeah. Uh, even through years of constant rejection from publishing houses. <laughs> But between her tenacity and the encouragement of her family, Peggy's breakthrough finally came at the age of 80. Oh, dear. I wonder, I wonder if it's his mother. His mother. <gasps> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Does it say in the back of the book? You know how sometimes it says about the author on that back? No, flip it. There we go. Does it say? 
She lives in Baltimore. She has a husband, John. She's raised three sons. Uh, both of them. Hmm. I bet it's her I'll son that he's, son. he's yeah, her son. Yeah, because that's, that's kind of, a, a, you know, a, a name that's yes. not very... Uh, anyway, I, I just love oh, it. I think that book just looks hysterical. Right. <laughs> it really does. It really does. Well, this, this is reviewed by Mike Rowe. Right. So I'll bet that's her son. I bet it is her yes. son. Yeah, she's been writing all of her adult life. And she doesn't know how not to write. <laughs> uh, even though, even through those years of constant rejection. But uh, Peggy's breakthrough finally came at age 80. Yep, sounds like a good breakthrough for me. <laughs> so vacuuming in the nude is most likely her funniest prose to date. As she shares her journey of attending myriad writers' conferences and honing her ability to see humor in everyday situations from her family's beloved dog Shim who thrives on piles of fresh warm manure. Oh <laughs> dogs eat the weirdest right, things. From the horse pasture <laughs> uh, to vacationing in a sweltering beach with mosquitoes the size of dune buggies. <laughs> I this this is this is Yes, great. it looks very funny. Like, very funny. <laughs> And yes, and I and I think you should come and get it <laughs> because this is on my list. My list too. Yes, oh, and it's on Julie's list. Yes. So. I was the one who suggested we get it. Well, good for yes, you, Miss Julie. Yes, because who doesn't want to get a book called "Vacuuming in the Nude"? <laughs> I know, I love it. Oh, yes. oh, oh! Here's one of my favorite. <laughs> They're all my favorite. <laughs> uh, but this Scott's. To Rose, latest, and it's called Suspect, Ooh. a thriller. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, it looks really. Actually, I'm taking it home with me because <laughs> I mean he writes so well. He does. And, he really does. And each of, each of his books, they're, they're kind of they're all different. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, not in the writing, because that's always good, but uh, the things that he chooses to write about. Right. And he does have, you don't have to read his books in order, or, but um, he does have some recurring uh, characters in uh, places. Ah. So, yeah, so he's... Uh, I read a lot of his older books, but I haven't read a new one, and when I saw that one come in, well, this is I thought, he Ooh. Has a new one. Yes. So, yeah, so oh, serious readers should be reading to Row. Ooh. Well, we're serious readers. Yeah, we're yes. serious readers. <laughs> That's why we read <laughs> Vacuuming yeah. in the Nude. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, but anyway, uh, this looks like a really good... I'm sorry, folks. I'm taking this home with me today. <laughs> but you're a fast reader. It'll be back in no time. <laughs> so it's a reckless private investigator embroiled in a fraught police scandal in this riveting legal thriller from number one New York Times best-selling author of The Last Trial. So Lucia Gomez is the police chief and Highland, the near Kind Highland Isle near Kindle County. Anyway, so she has fought for decades to maintain a spotless reputation Ooh. until now. Until now. Ooh, I, just, I just can't wait to get into this. And oh boy, look at me. And I know for a fact you just brought a book back that you finished, so you're ripe for a new book. I am ripe yes. for a new book. And I'm, I'm sorry, folks, this is it. I'm going to be quick, though. Yep. I'm going to be quick. They will be back here soon. <laughs> oh, and this one. Now, is this not the book you just brought back? I have just brought this. <laughs> I have just brought this one back. And also, um, John Sanford is a prolific writer. All of his books are just chock-a-block full of information, situations, mm -hmm. thrillers, you know, you know, bad guys, good guys. <laughs> um, you know, he talks about his family, his wife, Letty. I mean, his wife. Whether his daughter Letty, 
and he's always, he's always on the go. And this time he's with teamed up with his friend. <laughs> The, um, who is also now trying to be a writer. Ah. And so he has uh, uh, he has submitted a, a book for publication. And um, so, so this is really good. I mean, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's really a thriller. And it's, he's also teamed up with Virgil, another one of his really nice characters. I thought when I saw the cover, yeah. I thought, wait a minute, I thought Virgil Flowers did his own thing, but now he's put them together. Yes. Yeah. Ah. So yes, and Virgil is writing books. <laughs> Isn't that funny though, because so often authors write together, but now he's putting like two separate characters in his books together. That's really cool. Yeah. So, and so this, I just finished it. It's, it's, a, you know, it's a spellbinder. So, to, to the, well, to, it's Tuesday. It's you Tuesday. got that book on Saturday. That's true. That tells you what a good book it is. Exactly. And yeah. so, uh, you know, typical John Cena, full of full of action, full of adventure, and <laughs> and quite frankly, <laughs> <laughs> some really sharp uh, observations of the of the of the world as we know it. Oh, how yeah. nice! So, yeah. Yes. And look at him. He's a handsome dude. Yes. So, so actually, this this is a good one. This is one staying on the shelf long. Yeah. So. We actually have two copies. That's how good it is. Wow. Yes. That says a lot. Mm hmm. Yep. Don't, Don't be dropping that book. <laughs> and my oldie but goodie this, this week uh, also is a, a, a great author, Dennis Yes. Lewis. Oh. And this is this was his first really big uh, hit book. It was the first it, book of his I read. Well, Mystic River. Yeah. Because it's just over the line in Boston. That's right. And so um, made it into a really nice uh, movie. They did. They did Sean do a good Penn. job on the movie. Yes, they, yeah. They did a good job on the movie. Uh, but the, if you have not read this before, it's an excellent, excellent read. Mm -hmm. If you have read it before, it's worth a second look. Yes. Because I, I, I like my favorite books that I've read over the years. I like to go back and reread them mm -hmm. after a while, Be, because sometimes when you have a new book and you're just trying to go right, you're so excited, so, you're almost rushing through. Yes. yes. And so it's so it's nice to go back at a leisurely pace. And we read something that you really, really like. And his characters are so complex. Oh my they, goodness! They yes. are so complex. And to me, this—I think this is his best book. I really like mm -hmm. it. So, so. Ooh, very nice. Right. If you have read it before, it's worth a second look. Yep. If you haven't, read it. Read and it. I think even if you've seen the movie. Oh yes. Yes, yes. because there's so much more there's in the book. There's so much more. Yes. In the book. Yes. yes. Yeah. So that's high praise coming from both of us. Yes. Yeah. So that's it for this week. Ooh. And so, well, stay. will we see you Saturday? Uh, yes. Yeah, Saturday is sneak peek Saturday. <laughs> and so I'm going to be reading the first page of a brand new book mm -hmm. to whet your appetite uh, to come in and, and, and get some good reads. Sounds good to me. So, you'll have to, I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to I know. Read. I've given up asking because you never tell us. You make us wait. That's right. <laughs> I, I, want you, I want you to tune in. Right. Well, that's it for this week. So, thank you, Julie. Thank you, Carolyn. Okay, you be good. Come see us next Tuesday. <laughs> we'll be here. Bye. Bye.